a major manufacturing deal between Milwaukee and Nigeria. The governor of Lagos State, Nigeria, is visiting our state this week to buy trans train sets that were originally built for the state of Wisconsin. CBS 58's Rose Schmidt is in Milwaukee's Century City Business Park to explain the train sets' complicated political history and why city leaders say this deal is bittersweet. So what do trains do? They provide a connection from one place to another. That's exactly what the train here at Talgo is going to do, provide a symbolic connection between Milwaukee and the Nigerian government. 11 years after they were made, these trains are set to leave their manufacturer. The Spanish company Talgo, located at 27th and Townsend. They'll actually be in service, uh, serving people and providing a new transit option um, in another community. That other community is one of Africa's largest cities. We hope that this will be the beginning of a mutually beneficial business relationship. Lagos State, Nigeria is buying the trains for its red line. It'll be the first operational metro system in West Africa. The area currently has heavy traffic congestion with limited rail support. It's all about providing jobs, jobs, jobs for our people. And that's what we're doing. It's about ensuring that we can build our economy, is that our people can move from one location to another. For us, it's important that our trains are utilized. You know, it doesn't make any good for the trains that we built uh, in Wisconsin to be stored or to be kept uh, without passengers riding them. So why have these trains been in storage for a decade? politics. In 2009, former Governor Jim Doyle announced the state would buy two Tago trains to use for the high-speed rail to connect Madison and Milwaukee. But when former Governor Scott Walker took office, he blocked the deal, setting off a court battle with the company. While I'm happy about today, I am a little disappointed in a sense that these trains are not in service in our state. And I think that our previous governor uh, unfortunately made a mistake and turned these trains away. But city leaders say these trains will forever mark a partnership between continents. The trains are striped in badger red, Wisconsin red. One state's loss is another state's gain. The new line is expected to open later this year with a capacity of 500,000 passengers per day. Reporting in Milwaukee, Rose Schmidt, CBS 58 News.